Hey everybody, do you have a Behringer X Touch and you've been wondering how to connect it to Pro Tools for some tactile control? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. Okay, the first thing we need to do is set our X Touch to the appropriate control. To change the control mode of our X Touch, make sure the device is powered off and then we're gonna hold the select button on channel one while we power the device back on. This brings us into our control mode. In this instance, we wanna set our mode to HUI, which is human user interface, and our interface control set to USB. And back here, we actually have a USB cable connected. That's how we're gonna interface with our computer. Now that we've set our X-Touch to be in the correct control mode, we can set up the software to receive commands from the X-Touch. So here we are in Pro Tools and I've set up a new session called Controller Test. You can do a new session or a previous session, it doesn't matter. Um, but I've set one up here with eight channels so we can see the controller jump through some stuff once we set it up. So now what you do is you come up to your Setup tab, choose Peripherals, and in the Peripheral window that opens, you want to click on the MIDI Controllers tab. You're going to choose Huey, you're going to choose Predefined, and you're going to choose X-Touch Emulated. And that's the same for both the Receive From and the Send To. You can leave the channels at 8 because that's all we have a controller for. Click OK, and that's it. Now, you probably heard it, but my controller came to life right away. I'm going to show you. So here's my controller. It came to life right away. You can see I've got my audio channels 1 through 8. And if I do this, I'm moving number two up and down, you can see on my software screen here, you can see channel two moving up and down. Let's move all the channels, there we go. We see it working. And uh, we've got control of things like playback. So you can see the playhead is gonna start to move. Uh, you might not be able to see it very easily from there, but I promise it's working and we can actually scrub forwards and back you can see my counter moving here as i turn the scrub wheel so that's it we know it's working and then you just have to jump through and figure out what controls do and do not work for pro tools okay really quickly i'm going to show you the same thing on mac instead of pc now it's basically identical um there's just a, a slight naming difference a naming convention difference in mac so let's have a look at that really quickly so i've already got my mac session open here as you can see and uh oops i've got playback going on so let's stop it and now if i come up to the same thing setup peripherals and under my MIDI controller tab, you can see I've set it to Hui. Um, and this is just the, the slightly different naming convention, X-Touch INT, which is for internal, to the best of my knowledge. Um, and that is the same source you select for receive from and send to. And again, you leave it at channel 8. And you can see if I'm moving my, uh, my controllers over here, I'm going to switch camera views for one second. Okay, you can see I'm moving my faders here and they are moving on the screen. And we've also got stuff like select and mute and solo and record. And this is all the same for PC and Windows. There's a lot of other stuff that works, um, but as I said, you just need to jump through it and figure out what does and doesn't work. Um, just for your um, information, if you hit the scrub button, then you can use the scrub wheel to actually move, oops, sorry, I'm having camera issues here today. I really need a camera in. Um, anyway, you can see that it's moving. There you go. Super quick and easy to use your X-Touch to control your faders and your commands in Pro Tools. Uh, make sure you check out our other X-Touch and DAW connections like Reaper and Ableton. They should be linked here. Um, I hope this was informative. I hope it was educational. I hope it was entertaining. If it was any of those three things, please be sure to subscribe and like and share all the normal stuff. You can check us out on Patreon if you want to help the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.